Hi, I'm Johnny from ultimatepapermache.com and in this video I want to tell you about a really cheap and easy alternative to the traditional flour and water paste for making paper mache sculptures. Now I happen to like the plain old raw flour and water paste. It is really, really easy. It doesn't cost hardly anything, but there's a lot of people who can't use it. If you happen to be one of those people, you already know why. Now you might have a gluten sensitivity that keeps you from using the flour. Um, you might be living in a, a real tropical area or some place that's really, really humid. So you just can't get your paper mache sculptures dry fast enough before mold moves in. Or you might be wanting to teach a class uh, where you know that the students are going to take more than just a few hours to create their sculptures. You want to be able to mix up some paste ahead of time and then let your students use it over three or four days. And if you've tried that, you know that flour and water paste loses its stickiness and starts to get just a little bit smelly <laughs> if you keep it for even a day or two. It, it just doesn't really work very well. Yeast moves in. But this stuff that I'm going to tell you about, um, it's, it's not a recipe. It's just plain old Elmer's art paste. It's really, really easy to mix it up. It makes a whole gallon. It's, it doesn't look very impressive in the box because this is only two ounces. It looks like just a, a small amount of stuff, but it does make a whole gallon. And I've got some right here. This was made two months ago. I had it I don't even know why I made it up because I didn't need it at the time. <laughs> so I just put a lid on it and I left it on my kitchen counter. And it's been there for two months. It looks exactly the same way that it did when I made it. It's kind of clear. It looks a lot like maybe maybe Elmer's glue mixed with water. It kind of looks like that. It doesn't feel like that. It feels much better than Elmer's glue does. I hate the feel of Elmer's on my, on my hands. I don't know why. I just personal thing. I think it will last indefinitely, to be honest. It's made out of methyl cellulose. Uh, mold will not eat it. Bugs don't like it. My cat doesn't like it, and he'll eat almost anything. <laughs> so this, this is pretty cool stuff. Now let me show you how it's made. This is also really easy. It's a little bit like making um, jello. This is not gelatin, but it's a little bit the same. I'm not going to make a whole gallon for you, but I'm just going to use a quarter of it which would be half of an ounce. Let's see if I can do this. Now I actually eyeballed it when I made my first quart. Um, you don't have to be this exact, but I figure since you guys are watching me, I better at least try to do it right. And here's my new quart of cold water. That's what you need is cold water, not hot. I'm just going to put it in here. It's kind of gloppy and weird, just a little bit. You want to make sure that all those little lumps that you first get are all gone. That's good. That took, what, 20 seconds? And now, according to the directions, I better read them real quick, it says, wait for 15 minutes and then stir it again. So I'll do that and I'll come right back. Okay, I'm back and it's been 15 minutes. I'm just going to stir it up. You can see how thick it got when I wasn't paying any attention to it at all. And it's done. You just use this exactly the same way that you would ordinary paper mache paste. Now during that 15 minutes that I was waiting for this to do whatever it was doing, I went and looked it up on Amazon and it cost me, I think, $5.57. And for a whole gallon of paste that lasts literally forever, it really doesn't attract any kind of critters that would be interested in the usual paper mache paste. So I hope this helps. If you do need some paste, you need a lot of it, you want to keep on hand, or if you don't like using the flour because it might draw mold or critters, get some of this stuff cheap, mix up a gallon, <laughs> and you can keep it forever. That's all I've got for you today. If you like this video, be sure to subscribe to my channel. Go check out all the other videos that I've got telling you about different paper mache tips, recipes, and projects, and then come visit me, ultimatepapermache.com. I'll see you there.